mostly baking, and I have a special guest because this isn't my project. It is Sabrina. She is back again. She has she has a project that, as we're doing school work from home, that we have to do um, soil layers. So we decided we were going to show the different layers of the earth soil yeah. by a layer cake. So we're going to do brownie, yes. chocolate, spice, and yellow cake. And then we got green icing to do a outside to kind of the grass. For topsoil, right. Yeah, so so for like the topsoil because we don't want to like make another cake. Right. Like and then cake. we got milk chocolate yeah. for of course doing our layers. And we're going to make a square cake so we've got our square cake pans here yeah. and obviously you can tell something this big is not going to just fit that whole entire cake okay. mix. So this will not go into that even though this this is like the box is bigger but like like taking this out and opening this cake up it's like gonna yes they're bigger. aware the batter will they'll be left it's gonna overflow. So we will be making oh there's a line so you can go to that line. Yes. So we will be making as well um, cake on the sides, cupcakes on the sides. Yeah. And so then like, we're going to be doing a lot of walking and treadmill because we're going to be fed after this whole process because we're having way too many bacons in our house. But because we already have the cupcakes and cinnamon rolls, we have liquors over there, we have cookies. We I know. Crazy. I, I'm not here during the day. They are. They know. She's gone. She's doing whatever she has to do. Yes. Work. So. And grocery shopping. So we're stuck at home just snacking away. And a lot of times, me and my sister are bored, so we'll just eat anything. Yes. So, <laughs> anyways, we're going to start cooking. And we've got music playing because I can't bake without music. I like music, except not your playlist. So. We're going to make brownies first. So, yeah, and yeah, so we're going to put these aside. All right. What? Yeah, disappearing because I have to go get my mixing bowl. I don't make anything from well, I should say I don't make anything from scratch. I can bake from scratch. I can cook from scratch. Can I tell, can I tell a story? So once for Don's birthday, um, we were making um him cake, but we didn't have any chocolate icing. We thought we did. We didn't. Um. So what happened is we we were like freaking out, and Mom pulled up a recipe from her um phone, and she says, "Let's bake this." And I remember halfway through it, we were using a Hershey's chocolate cocoa powder, and we spilled it all over the floor. We were laughing, we were having a good time. And that was actually one of my favorite memories. And I think that's the only time we've baked together and we made something homemade, honestly. Right? Yeah, sorry, I yeah. was reading what we needed. I was trying to say which on the back I have options. So I was so saying what my make, options were. You can make um, brownies. I mean, yeah, not, but, not just brownies, but you can also make muffins. But the ombre cake, which is down here, says that to do... That looks so good. It has ice cream in it. Yes, but we're only going to have one layer of the brownie, so it wants two. Not one, two bags of, Gar of Ghirardelli's. This is Ghirardelli's <laughs> brownie mix. And Again. this is delicious. Last time my mom made Lots brownies... Lots of treadmills. Last time my mom made brownies, it was so good. They were like gone in like two days. Probably a day and a half. Again, <coughs> treadmill. You're living on that treadmill. And we have, and we most likely obviously gonna have extra brownie batter, obviously. So we're gonna make some uh, some more brownies, like for more brownie mix. So because we're gonna like leave these overnight to cool, so they can't have the ones that we're gonna stack. Yeah. But they can have they can have the other ones. I mix everything. Don't ask. All right. I don't like mixers. Okay. I like mixers for one reason. I have a mixer. I just don't use it. I like okay. mixing. I like. Okay. I the one thing I don't like about mix, mixers is you, you're taking a risk of having it over mix. Yes. Okay. You're taking that risk of having it over mix. So if you're wondering what I'm doing, the mistake a lot of people make is they get their bags out of the boxes and then they just open them up. I like to get mine where all the mix is for the bottom, so That's I don't hard. have that issue. This is a lot of batter. Yes. We don't have a big one. It is, works. We used to pop them. We used to pop them. No way pop them. Cool. Now we do from my birthday party. Because we had, this was like the snack area. We had bowls, bowls. The party was like, actually, something. Yes, I'll do that. I have to go look at something. Okay, so I like to, I like to, I'm 
my bags down so that way they don't. Yes. And then I get my kitchen shears. See, I have more yes. they're protected. Because my hair, okay? Because like my bags are I'm also sweating quite a bit. Don't let your children use these. My kids would probably poke my eyes out so I wear glasses versus contacts. Keep my eyes in place. Okay, so I know a lot of people usually add wet to dry to the wet. I actually do the opposite. I do dry and then I slowly add my wet. Well, I'm baking shows because the fact I wanted to be a baker when I grow up and I watched a lot of baking shows with my mom, including Nailed It. And whenever we watch shows like that, you'll see that like instead of being sugar go for so Chick, put it in there, 
and then poops and has diarrhea. Yeah. Now I'm sure everybody watching this who like uses the mixer is going to say, if you use the mixer, mixer right now, this would already be mixed. You know what? I find yeah, that but yes, but it could over mix it. It could fly everywhere. You have to worry about like, the, like you have to worry about like how, how low, how high. You have to continue to watch it with this huge mix. Well, and I find when I mix, how I'm feeling goes into my making. I know it sounds weird, but it's true because I know when I have a bad Your day. Goes into it. Yeah, well, if I'm having a bad day and they really want something and I cook it, it never turns out right when I do it by hand. So. Well, you're, a lot of people don't know that, but like your energy is going into like your desserts and like your mm -hmm. love and your, your love and like how, like, and actually a lot of people don't know this, but I learned this from um, Rosanna Pancino that when you bake, like, if you're having a bad day and like and you're like this isn't going right, I'm having a bad day, nothing's working out, then uh, then your cookies or your brownies are gonna turn out. Yep. You have to have positive attitudes about it. Okay, hand mixed it didn't take it that long. I honestly didn't, and this actually looks really good. Yeah. Okay. So. Except like turns. So here's what it looks like now. There it is. It's a very right. smooth consistency. So right. we are spraying our pans for the, oh, they turn off. No, we didn't do it. We didn't put on the oven. <laughs> Got my oven, guys. The whole time, my oven has not been warm enough. Luckily, I have a quick I have an oven convection, convection oven, so it heats pretty quick. So, also, our stove is like automatic, too, which is nice. Yeah, so I'm going to put You're watching on. the dog, Mom. I'm not worried about those. Well, they're just playing out all the big bags. Besides, we're probably going to be baking for an hour. <laughs> because, right. yeah. Three, seven, oh. Oops. Mom, okay. do you know how many times we're going to have to do this? Do what? We're going to have to, we have to make three up other cakes. That's going to take forever. Uh, no. Mm -hmm. We're going to convection oven. We're pretty quick. That's true. All right, so cooking spray. So the first Excuse one. Me, so the brownies don't spray? stick. I use uh, canola oil or I use olive oil cooking spray. So we're doing both of these? Yeah. Yeah, because this one's for school. This one's for school. And that one's for if they really want brownies. So here's the next so trick. Extra, so extra and then high school project. Yeah. So here's my next trick that I do after I spray them. Do I make this? I go get oh. a paper towel. I'm sure everybody who like is going, oh my gosh, paper towels are scarce where I'm at. Well, I've got a lot, so I'm okay. We have quite <laughs> And, oh, you spread it? And I spread it in my pan. I don't I don't want to wipe it out. I just want to kind of move it and get it on my thing. That way I can get my sides evenly. That's fine. And then it's kind of more even. A lot of people just spray it like everywhere and show on the sides. You just like, yep. But then it gets really greasy and then the bottom's all wet. Yeah. Like, I mean, the bottom already comes out wet anyways, but like it comes out like really soggy the bottom. This, this is how you don't get too much cooking spray and get enough any sides and it's even. Sorry, I have Didn't still wear. Did you get some Yes. Yeah. That was a. Because we're going to be using these. Because we're going to be using these. We're going to be all the time. Yeah, so we're going to do the first pan. And I have like little spouts, which is nice on my thing so I can. Even though Dad uses them as handles to make popcorn. We don't want it to be, is that too thin or too thick? It looks really, it looks really thick. That one's going to be really thin. This one's going to be thin. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're, that, yeah, that makes sense. What song is this? Um, I can think of it right now. Also, if you want to turn our music is playing, we have no luck, so. In the corner by our straws and our icing. So. This looks so good. I wish we could just lick it. A little bit that's left. Good. You're gonna put this into that one or not? This one? This one. Yeah, because this one's a little thin. Well, we don't want too thick. Maybe. No, because if it's too thick, then I'll like crisp. And it'll take a long time to No, make. it won't. It won't? No. No. Is it because you're making with me? Probably, I don't know. Is it because I need to? Alright. Alright. Brownies usually level themselves out, so you don't really have to. But if you're going to need to level out, you kind of shake. 
You don't pound. A lot shake. of people do that. They go like this with their pants. They go yeah. like that. Just shake them. Yeah, you can see everything jiggle on my body, my fatness. <laughs> right? Yes, my, my, my wings. I like, I like, I like to go up to her sometimes and go like that. Yes, I, I, I don't, I've never had, I, you know, even in track, I didn't have good triceps. I don't know why, my triceps do not like to firm up. Well, okay. I think uh, she's pretty. So, pretty. once our oven is finished heating up away, since I didn't preheat it like I should have. Hi everyone, welcome back. So we had some technical difficulties and I guess after I was talking about shaking the pans, um, our camera battery died, even though we had a fully charged camera. So um, we finished baking the brownie. This is the brownie. And when it so came, can, I, can I say it? Go ahead. I want, okay. So we, were, so we were sitting here and it was cooling down because we made a couple hours. For it to cool down first. Yeah. And she takes it and she starts going like this. I was not counting, counting it. Counting I was, was like patting it. I was patting the the bottom of the pan. And what happened is down. the metal did not come in. Yeah. And because she chose the chewy, we'll use the next. Well, really I did the chewy cake recipe for the mm -hmm. brownie. And so this middle middle didn't come out of the pan. So we had to. So she two. used her fingers to smush it around. I, yeah, so we scraped the baby. We got it out with a spatula and then I I fixed it as best I can. So it doesn't matter. The brownie is, so we have uh, the other brownie ones in the family. It, the, <laughs> it's good. It's the brownie. brownie. It is good. good, it is good, but like honestly I think it's a little bit too chewy. It's, yeah, it's a little it's chewy. A little too, it's Probably a little should have just done regular brownie, not just yeah. brownie chewy cake, but oh well, we've been learned. So anyways, we're gonna put it back in here. I won't, cake is cake. I won't slide this across the counter because it sounds like fingers on a chalkboard. <laughs> so, all right. So we're gonna do our next layer of cake, which is the, the devil's, devil's food. food cake. Oh yeah. So, so I'm gonna preheat the oven. I'm like, yeah, by the way, I didn't preheat the oven. Yeah. Oven yesterday. <laughs> I said onion. Oven yesterday. Yeah. So this um, is the next day because yesterday. I, I hope it's the next day because I'm in different clothes. Otherwise, that's an awesome wardrobe change. Um, anyhow, so and I, like I make, the and I make up on this time, unlike last time. Yeah, she was a plain bagel. Yeah, I was a plain bagel earlier in the video. So, anyways, I'm gonna preheat the oven. It says to preheat it to 350. So I'm gonna preheat the oven, and then I'm gonna go get the next um, stir pan. And bless you. Luckily, she covered before she sneezed on everything. That would be gross. Um, and some muffin, uh, muffin tin and cups because obviously this is going to be more than we need for our mixed layer. Okay, so again, I'm having this because I'm going to have mixed layer. And Sabrina is determined to sneeze in our food. Okay, so you know, well, this I is, know. so I need three eggs for this one, it's oil allergies. and water. So. Not a lot goes into this one either. Oil. That looks like something came out of the other end. 
But that's how the brownies look too. No, the brownies look better. That's just a bush. Looks like I just take out my backyard for my dogs. <laughs> uh, uh. Ew! Alright, and I need to add three eggs. Okay, sorry. Who can I have a bag? This one, okay. I did. Oh gosh, mom! What? I did not get any shot. I need another egg. I need that. Okay, I have gross egg. You get a show in there. Okay. You go rinse your hands. Hi. You make it a mess. We're being messy today. We're messy cookers today. We're We're bakers. Always messy. Just say cookers were baking. Now I have water streaks. <laughs> Gosh, this is gonna like. These eggs are really messy. No, the the shells are just not crappy easy. I think they're just really tough. They're like too tough. What what form is this? Huh? What is that? It's a sub. It's a fish one. Oh yeah, that's a favorite. Ew, that does not look good. Okay, hey, you know what you're doing right Wait, the water's having a like, chemical reaction with the batter. Okay, can I have it? Yeah. Okay. Just egg. Egg guts right there. Me. You want licorice? No, I do not want licorice. Again, you'll be on the treadmill a lot. Sweet that 
you can really find my mom eating is like, like the only really cake that she really likes is one bunk cake from, what's it called? Nothing bunk cake. Yeah, nothing bunk cake. They're amazing, they're my favorite food store. And then, um, and then, um, pound cake. And then pound cake for mom. She loves pound cake. I like cheesecake, but you cheesecake's like cheesecake. not really a cake. It's not really a cake, it's more like pie. I like pies. She pie. loves pie. Yeah, but my chippiness doesn't come from pies, so. No, it actually does. I'm not chubby. No, it's because I had you. Yes. I mean, I haven't lost all my weight. She's had three kids, okay? Yeah, I just don't look really easy. No. Once I gain it. All right, so I got that ready, and then we're gonna use my... Think, but mom, I think your weight's fine. I have been good. So I have not an ice cream scoop. This is actually the scoop batter, so you get See, the perfect when, measurement. When, grandma, okay. yes. when I made cupcakes with grandma here, she said, Sabrina, that's an ice cream scoop. And I said, well, technically, you it's can not. use it for ice cream, but it's not. And she said, well, it is. Oh, wait, I just, I said it's not. Okay. So you just kind of scoop, and this usually fills it about halfway. And then it's a perfect consistency. Yep. And what I love about this is it has the little things so the extra batter and pushes it out. So, so this is our second layer, layer, right? This is... This is the second layer. That, yeah, that will be... Okay, I'm going to put that over there. Yeah, we'll put this all in together so we time to So it's going to be a squared stack cake, right? Yes. Okay. Like a piece of the earth that we cut open out of the planet. So... Basically, just think of like tiles, just like a big tile. And then keep I am not Before decorating things. the top of this so it'll look like the planet Earth. Just FYI. The what? I said even though this is like a like we cut a square out of the Earth, I am not decorating it to look like the Earth on top. No, I cannot. No, I have uh -uh, no. I have no artistic Lord. drawing ability whatsoever. I draw stick people like the Rain Man, and that is about it. I can draw. See, when we okay, draw, I can draw we, a flower. Okay, let me just tell them a quick story. So, <laughs> so when we were at home and getting all of like our cake and like our frostings, um, when we were like around like the frosting area, my mom was looking for frosting. I was looking at piping tips because I've always been bugging my mom to get piping tips, and but she didn't want to do that. And I found little gummy eyeballs that you put on cake. She didn't want to do that either. But like, if we're gonna use green frosting, you might as well put. You know, I walk on me. Our door just simply showed up, so we're going to stop here because I'm going to do shit for my house. So we are back and we visited with family that popped in on us. Yes, we know social distancing, but it was my parents and they don't go anywhere because they're over, well, no, they're not both over 60. My mom isn't, she's under 60. But point is, um, the young people. <laughs> Yeah, late fifties. My dad's in his mid sixties. Yeah, she looks young. Yeah, see, not that old. Okay. Anyhow, not a little bit Anyhow, um, so during that time, we cooked the devil's food cake and the spice cake because we don't like to socialize. So the devil's food cake is actually good. We taste tested both of them. Uh, I the had spice some... cake had a little bit of an issue coming out with ham. Okay. It wasn't cool, as cool as it needed to be, so it. No. It but we can fix with icing because we use icing to fix our mistakes. Yeah, and it and it cracked, so. It did, but this is actually really good. It didn't yeah. crack or anything. And then we have um, our yellow the cake. Yes, the yellow cake the yellow is cake now done. Yellow cake is back here. And the yellow cake is now done, so we're gonna get that one. It's quite. It's um, a little bit hot because we just got it out a couple minutes ago. Right, so I'm gonna test the bottom. These are stoneware pans, so they tend to yeah, it's still pretty warm on the bottom. But okay, but the only reason why they're really hot is because they're glass and like stone, and that absorbs heat. So so how we get them out of the pan? Hopefully this one doesn't crack like this. I honestly don't think it will. I get a piece of tin foil. I stick it over it. That way it doesn't get all over my counter and I try to lift it with my bare hands and it breaks. And carefully just flip it over. It might be a little bit too warm, right? I think it's just yeah, it just came the, out. Yeah, it came out a couple months ago. It came out five minutes ago. So I think we'll be fine. We hope. We'll find out. It's kind of... But also, um, I'm sure you, I don't want to say you know this, but like... I don't know if you guys know this, but... Um, I closed part of it, but not the 
you got some weight on you, okay? See, that's the exact same size. Did you use like the exact same can for those two? Uh, no, they're slightly different. There's, there's sure. a slight. Oh, yeah, because this one's like more curved out. It's more straight. That's the only difference. Throw that out. This looks uh, so much alike, the colors. This looks so good. Except for the brownie. The brownie looks gross. Who eats brownie with milk chocolate on it? We are. Actually, no, we're not. This is really for the project of the layers of earth. And we will get that sheet to show you at the very end of what each layer is supposed to be. We will share that with you. So I know that this one, the, the bottom, is bedrock. That's why we're using brown because it's hard. You know, it's not. And it looks like bedrock because it's hard. You know, it's not. You're doing a great job of smoothing. Do we have the same one? I'm on like unsmoothing it. <laughs> yeah, you're unsmoothing it. Okay. I'm gonna see where the spice cake is because that one has been cooking for longer because I just pulled that one out. So yeah, that's the spice this is. Okay. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that's cool. So the spice cake can go next.
Now, eventually we will spread this down to the sides, but we have to actually take a photo of this to... Um, so we have to take a photo, and we will be tasting this, and you will be seeing our reaction. As we know, we're supposed to be social distancing. She's she, she, she's down below us, so we'll spring her on up. What the crap? Yes, we're not. Ash isn't wanting to talk to us. All right, so we are back, and this is the chart for the soil profile that we are doing this cake for. And as you see, as Sabrina's taking a drink of water. Hi. <laughs> She's like, I wasn't expecting you to do that to me. Um, we have the different layers. So, so we're ready to cut into it. Yeah, we cut into it so you can see the different layers. So the green icing is basically your organic matter and your top so, soil. So known as your grass. Yeah, and the top soil that your grass roots and stuff go into. Mm -hmm. Then the next layer, which is, is this, dirt. which is the yellow cake right here, which is that is dirt. known as your horizon. Or your dirt. Yeah, that's the deeper dirt. Yeah. And then right after that, the spice cake, which is, is this one right afterwards, that is known as your subsoil. So kind of like where a lot of uh, gravels and stuff can be as well. And then after that, you have your parent material. So parent material is kind of like when things break down and layer on layer kind of happens. Mm -hmm. That's your parent material. And then the brownie, which is the very bottom down here. Is our bedrock. Is the bedrock. So that's what we just brownie. So about. let's taste. We're gonna taste this monster. Okay, so we're not gonna be able to bite this. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go in the middle between the yellow cake That's what I did first. and the That's spice cake. Oh my gosh, I don't need that big of a bite of spice cake. Um, so I get some of the chocolate frosty you and did the drink. really deep into that. It's moist, it's good. I like that. It's fresh. It's not as scary as I thought it was gonna be. I'm not a big fan of the yellow cake. I'm really not. Alright, so now I'm gonna do. In between the spice and the double food, the green frosting in there plus the chocolate. Me too. Mm. Surprisingly, it's still moist and it doesn't taste bad. Mm. Okay. Brownie and double food with icing. I think that one's going to be the best of all. Okay. Also, all chocolate. Chocolate mm. and icing. That doesn't count. Um, oh, I can't even break through that. What the crap? Oh, I only got brown. Not like. It's good, it's bedrock. 
Um, what? I did it. Hopefully my lips aren't all green. Yeah. Uh, are they? Are they green? Are they? Uh, probably I'm inset a little. Okay. Anyways, mm -hmm. considering we weren't sure how this was going to turn out and we picked the cakes based off the soil profile, off, off our soil profile versus flavors, and we did kind of take flavor into account. This actually turned out really good. So for a science project to show a soil, soil profile, it's like something this. you can eat afterwards. This actually worked really well. So, um, she's sucking down water. <laughs> so, and um, sorry, the frost was like killing me. Yep. So this is our, yeah, a lot. There's a lot of frost. <laughs> we did light, light layers. Remember, we only used maybe a third of the chocolate icing so, kit and then yeah. and a whole can of the green, of course, to put around it. So. Um, anyways, the point is, is if you oh, are going to do, really you nice. need to do a soil profile and you're at home. I this would recommend with, this. Yeah, this taste is pretty good. Okay, if, besides like, besides how many desserts you're going to get your, and you'll have to walk in the treadmill a lot. Yeah, lots of treadmill, lots of hikes. Um, but that will get you out since you're stuck at home. Um, uh, Cost-wise, it was relatively, you know. Especially because we got four yeah, things of yeah, ice and we got it's three it's cakes. It's a fun project. It's a fun project to do with your kid. Great science project. Teaches them about the soil. Um, get to eat it afterwards, and it tastes pretty yummy. So it does. And if you don't want to do these ones, you can pick other just, flavors. But you can do whatever. Anyways, honestly, I do like the brown. Yeah, that's the best. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. So just we want to say thanks for watching, and bye.